Welcome to DSE Virtual Tour Productions video blog. This article is entitled, The Great Great Escape Hot Air Balloon Adventure. To start this article, just click anywhere on this image. We had experienced a week of torrential rain here in Temecula Valley, and I thought that there was no way that this hot air balloon launch would take place. An email came in to DSE Virtual Tour Productions office the night before, which stated to contact the hot air balloon company at 5.30 in the morning for a go or no go. I knew that there was no way, and boy was I wrong, it was a go. In loading the car, the streets were wet from the evening's rain and a crisp chill filled the air. I was still not convinced that this launch would take place. Regardless, equipment loaded, I steered towards Wilson Creek Winery, located in Temecula, California. Wilson Creek Winery is a place for all the customers and the trucks carrying all the hot air balloon equipment meet. As I arrived, I see that I'm the only vehicle in the lot. I thought for a moment, gee, do I have the right place? But moments later, here come four full-size pickup trucks, a van with a trailer filled with equipment for the journey. It is still dark with a hint of the upcoming sunrise. Unable to see if there are still storm clouds looming, I wondered again if this would even happen. It was cold and wet everywhere, but no matter. Introductions all round and Rusty, the owner, assured me that all would be clear and a great day was going to happen. I raised my head skyward and thought, yeah right. As sunrise was beginning, I could see white puffy clouds, but no big rain clouds. Hmm. What does Rusty know that I don't? They send aloft a small helium balloon to determine prevailing winds. I was told that the launch site often changes based upon the prevailing winds and they were going to move to another area based on those findings. I must admit Rusty, before they sent up the helium balloon, stated that the winds were coming out of the southwest and we would have to move the launch site. Rusty gave the order of the launch location, maybe a half mile down the road. So we all headed to this new site, and fortunately, it was a large parking lot of another winery, so we would not be up to our knees in mud. The crew operated like a well-oiled machine involving all the customers in the experience of the setup and inflation of the balloons. The sun was just appearing over the horizon. It was going to be a beautiful day. I had no idea these hot air balloons were so big. The balloon material itself weighs about 400 pounds. I'm all set, camera on tripod and clicking away, shooting HDR panoramic shots of this process like a crazy man. The sun now is dancing off the wet pavement and glistening through the recently cleaned air. It was beautiful out there. The brisk cold air made it even more exciting as each group of customers loaded themselves in their assigned balloon and like clockwork lifted into the morning air. One at a time, one, two, three, four, and finally number five balloon dotted the sky with their brilliant colors, each different in color, but at the same time complementing each other. As all the balloons are aloft, I asked the ground crew what was next in the procedure. First, I must compliment the ground crew for their professionalism and great personalities. What a great bunch of people. Anyway, it was off to the landing part of the process. Now understand, there is normally no group landing area as you don't really know where the wind's going to take you. I was assigned to follow the owner's balloon and was to follow the van and trailer. Radio chatter started loud and clear as each crew member is assigned a balloon and heads to the area where the pilot is estimating their landing. As they all scatter to all points of the compass, I follow my assigned vehicle. Deep in the wine country, I see the road is washed out. There is absolutely no way my vehicle can get through that. One of the crew had me park my car and join him in the truck to traverse this massively marshed out road. And washed out it was. I bounced around in that truck like a BB in a boxcar. Radio chatter continuing as the atmosphere of excitement filled the truck. We came upon a huge open field as Rusty, the owner, stated that that's where they wanted to put down. The radio chatter continued as Rusty told the driver where to place the van. 
Then the fun started as the ground crew keyed the radio and stated, call the ball. I laughed thinking this was just playing around, but boy, I was wrong. I hear Rusty, the pilot, say, I'll set it down on the trailer. Yeah, right, was my comment, but the crew said he will. In my amazement, I watched this hot air balloon pilot set this huge hot air balloon gracefully down on this small trailer with all aboard. I was impressed and at the same time amazed with his skill level. All disembarked this huge basket with smiles all around as the ground crew started the disassembly process. It was great how Rusty involved all the riders to help stowing the now collapsed balloon into its storage bag. All returned back to Wilson Creek Grinery for champagne celebration and I could see and hear the total satisfaction of all patrons who took to the air. I look forward to the second phase of this job when I'll be able to experience what these people did. The Grape Escape Hot Air Balloon Adventure Company are a group of dedicated professionals who not only have a firm grip on what they do, but are a great bunch of people who understand customer satisfaction.